Hey guys! Hi! It's been a while. I was... I was gone, but now I'm back. So, uh... Anything fappin' while I was gone? Like winning a streamy? I could do that because of my cerebellum foreshadowing. Coming straight at you via New Scientist is a little ditty about a 24-year-old woman who has lived her entire life without ever knowing that a very significant part of her brain was MIA. Gone. Non-existent. Cut back to the tender age of six when, according to this gal's mom, the young lady only just began to be able to spit out intelligible words from her mouth spot. Which, in case you didn't know, is a little bit late in the developmental cycle. Cut to one year later and she finally learns to walk at the age of seven. Again, a little bit behind the curve. But why is this the case? Hey, she thought with her incomplete brain stuffs, why am I going through life without the inherent ability to walk a steady straight line? Why do I slur words and why am I sick to my stomach and dizzy so dang much? Why do I keep asking these questions instead of going to the doctor, she thought before going to the doctor where x-rays revealed the answer. You see, this poor woman never developed a cerebellum. Uh, cerebell, um, what did you say? I said it was gone, replaced by a vacuous space that filled to the brim with cerebrospinal fluid. Ew. The cerebellum is like super important, you guys. It's only 10% of the total volume of the smart goo, but it contains 50% of the neurons and is responsible for this. And this. And this. Not having the cerebellum can be very, very debilitating. Like, you can't do anything because you died before first grade debilitating. But it wasn't for her, obviously. She's kind of a freak of nature, but in a good way. She and eight others are the only known examples of people who were born, grew up into adulthood, and eventually realized that life is essentially meaningless and that our actions and choices are futile when compared to the great infinite. Without a cerebellum. This is cool because she is another example of how our brains, although delicate, can be very adaptive. Her brain was all like, cerebellum? More like cerebell dumb. I don't need that, and then rewired and made other parts of their brain responsible for this and this. Most likely her cortex speculates smart people with 100% complete brains. Fun stuff, says I, who am me, but you're you, so tell me what you think about this and our amazing brains in the comments down below. You know what? Hell, let's get crazy. Why don't you name your brain, then tell us why you're naming it that. Why not? Guys, I'm Joe Beretta. Thanks for watching SourceFed. If you could, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and click the annotation for more videos. It's good to be back.